Vi er til folkemøde på Bornholm, og i dag der har, har vi øh, i øh, Hammershus Færdsvæg Koncert øh, afholdt et øh, debatmøde. Og øh, overskriften var øh, den øh, fantastiske historie af Ghana, øh, som har vist nogle virkelig utrolige resultater i forhold til udviklingen i de senere år. The Millennium Development Goals have subsequently been mainstreamed into successive medium term national development policy frameworks. Well, the debate uh, today was about the, the success Ghana has talked with reference to the Millennium Goal number one. And then uh, we also talked about the private sector uh, contribution to the development in Ghana and fair trade. Well, first of all, I think that uh, everybody comment the, uh, the development in Ghana uh, the recent years and also uh, the political development. I mean. Uh, Overskriften for dagens møde øh, var, øh, hvordan det kan lade sig gøre, at øh, Ghana som det eneste land i Afrika når øh, 2015-mål nummer 1, som handler om en øh, halvering af fattigdom og sult øh, frem mod år 2015. Some economists and thinkers and academics introduced a discourse, which really comforted me so much. And I must also admit that it surprised me. That was to, they called it, their discussion, Ghana Beyond Aid. Just as you said, Joshua, that is on the agenda now. And for me, who has been working with development in Ghana for, since 1984, that was really so wonderful to hear. Yes, of course, there's a time beyond that. Yeah, the fair trade system is very good. Uh, it ensures that uh, You know, development comes into the trading activities where buyers have consent for the producers. We have practiced it in our organization and we feel that is the best method by which uh, poverty and hunger can be reduced. In Krubodan, for instance, we have done it and a lot of single mothers have uh, turned their economies around and now the landless farmers are also making it through because uh, they are developing their capacities in the production and they are making sure that they are having fair pricing for their activities. We are also looking into their condition of service. Uh, we are also looking at uh, the education for their children. And I feel uh, fair trade is a system that can help uh, you know, the poor to come out and solve their poor problems. Thank you. There's a, there's a much larger part of the population that you could now call a middle class. And we've always talked about that as also a stabilizing uh, factor in, in political life to have a middle class. Um, so that's been also, I guess, one of the goals there. One sad thing in many countries, but very understandable, is that in, in countries where, for instance, the education system has not been working, then the, the middle class has used their individual money on creating better education opportunities for their children. Meaning, in, in many countries, that you have seen the development of a huge private educational sector. Mm. And that has, in a way, further undermined the public system, because if, if all the resource-strong people pull their children out of the public system, then it becomes very difficult to develop the public system for the rest of the population. So, and, it, and it could even uh, yeah, increase, as Thomas was saying, increase inequality. I think, again, many Danes would get a shock if they are fl flown into Nairobi or Accra, whatever, African cities, they see skyscrapers, banks, huge banks, maybe, maybe the most uh, modern cars. Sometimes I see them in Accra before I see them in Copenhagen. <laughs> so they are rich people, but they pay so much tax mm. because they either are you know, corrupt or the system is not in place. So I think really there's something there that could be kind of maybe Denmark's last aid package, and whenever it aid, it would finish in 2030 or 40, whatever. But I mean, the last years should be really to strengthen and support and inspire how to create a, an own a revenue system. That would be the best gift to give a gift to a country. I år, den 22. juli, der har vi for syvende gang Hammershus Færtvæg koncert. De her koncerter laver vi jo dels for at gøre opmærksom på på øh, Færtvedt-sagen, øh, og øh, det andet er selvfølgelig, at vi forsøger at skaffe øh, noget overskud for de her koncerter, så vi kan uddele øh, til forskellige projekter. 
Og der fokuserer vi meget på, at det skal være fair trade projekter eller i hvert fald hjælp til sælgeprojekter øh, i Afrika. Så det har en eller anden form for blivende værdi. Øh, det har vi som sagt gjort i nogle år, og nu har vi jo så fået det, som vi kalder for folkemødet her på Bornholm i juni måned, og der har vi så også gået ind med nogle forskellige aktiviteter. Vi laver også en koncert i dag med et Bornholmsk upcoming band, der hedder Soluna, og med Sander. Så det er sådan lidt en udvidelse af Fairtrade-koncertens aktiviteter allerede her i juni måned. Selvom nogen kommer og sagde, at det virkelig er vinter Ikke i mit indre, os to og mine læner Det er noget, der drejer sig for hårdt Jeg ser så meget mere, end du aner Prøv en gang at lukke din øjne i Og tænk på dig og mig Så bare mere end 